When Fairfax County, they can expect that any of the prosecutors who deal with these charges would be extremely reluctant to dismiss or reduce a driving under the influence charge. It used to be that it was fairly routine in Virginia to reduce driving under the influence charges to reckless driving to impose some of the same requirements such as the ASAP course and a license restriction, but to amend the charge to reckless driving and not impose any additional punishment such as jail time. Reductions from driving under the influence to reckless driving have become a lot less frequent as the political factors behind prosecutions in driving under the influence charges have increased. And over the last several years, driving under the influence really has become more of a political issue. Um, there are no prosecutors who want to say that they reduced a charge to reckless driving and then that person later went and committed an offense where someone was injured. Likewise, a judge doesn't want to be in the position of reducing a charge and having someone come back and in, be involved in an accident later where someone is injured. So fighting uh, driving under the influence charges in Fairfax County in particular, but all across Northern Virginia, has become more and more difficult in recent years and it's more important to look into all the aspects we can. At the same time, there's more evidence that's available to us now than has been available in the past. And most of the officers in Fairfax County now wear body-worn cameras. Almost all of the officers have audio cam or audio recordings. And um, almost all of the police cruisers have video recording devices. So now it's very standard in a, in a DUI case to have the first court date continued so that we can review video evidence and review all of the evidence um, to have a really good understanding of exactly what evidence the officers were working with when they made the arrest. And the main argument that happens in DUI charges is whether at the time when the, main, the officers made the arrest, they had enough evidence to establish probable cause for an arrest. So the fact that we now have all of that evidence available to us, even though we face more of an uphill battle in fighting prosecution of DWI charges, we have more available to us to be able to see exactly what evidence that the prosecution is going to be able to present to the court.